Hello, Bobcats and other OCPS teachers out there. Brad Shreffler here with a quick guide for you. Going into quarter two, and whenever you might be watching this video, it's a good idea to keep track of parent contact. We need to document when we have parent contact and, and for what kind and what the conversation was about, time and date, that kind of stuff. It's really important that we have that information should we need to refer back to it that we attempted to reach out to parents. So I've made a little form that should simplify this process for you all. And to set it up is really quick and easy and really not tough for you guys. So uh, to get started, you're going to go to the website bit.ly slash shref contact log. You can click that uh, down in the description below. Then you'll be able to click bit.ly slash shref contact log or just type it in yourself. When you go here, it will prompt you to make a copy of a document and you'll go ahead and copy that into your Google Drive. And you'll see it pulls in a, a Google form that looks a lot like this. Now, we just need our list of students to add to it. So, make your way over to Skyward and on your teacher access, go to My Gradebook and you're going to hover over Reports for All Classes and you're going to run a class roster. We just need student name and student info. This one's pre-built, so we can just go ahead and export to Excel. Once that report is all done, it'll pop up and you can hit display report, and it will look a lot like this, except your numbers won't be blue on the side. So this is your list of students. So what we're going to do is it'll go, usually go first period first. We double check we're on period one. I'm just going to select all the names of students in first period and I'm going to copy them. And then on the Google form I just made a copy of, I'm going to go to the line that says first period, click on option, and then click paste. So now that'll add each of those students as a choice. Then I'm going to repeat that for the next period. So I'll get period 2, control, control C to copy, scroll down to period 2, control V to paste, and repeat. So you're just going to keep doing this for each of your classes. Obviously most of you will probably have a lot more names for each class period. My student tech support classes are pretty small, but we're just going to keep doing this for each of my class periods. Now I'm done with all seven periods, and my form is done and ready to go. So we can go ahead and take a look at what that's going to look like. We can hit the preview button. We can bookmark this page right here, because this is where we will always go to to track our data. And let's say I'm going to check on, I'm gonna, I made a phone call to a parent in first period. Now I have my list of first period students. It was Zoe, and it was a phone call. They answered. And we talked about Zoe's grade. And hit submit. Boom, all set. Now I can go here to responses. If I need to pull the data, I can go to responses. I can see that I contacted Zoe. And this was the conversation. I can also go into the sheet for these responses. And that will give me a little bit better view of all of that information. Now it's quick and easy to track parent contact. I don't have to do a lot of work. It automatically date and timestamps it, so I know that that information is correct. And we just have the list of different class periods. So all my first period students, when I contact their names, will be here. Second period would be here. Third, fourth, et cetera, et cetera. And we can just sort by those names to be able to pull just the information for those kids. Quick and easy, really simple way to be able to track data for your students. So I hope this helps you guys out. I hope it's something that might save you a little bit of time to track all that parent contact we're already doing. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'm always glad to help you guys out there. And I know you're going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.